Hope in the Face of HIV AIDS by Marco Ambrosio. An estimated 33 million people live with HIV AIDS around the world. Each has a face. They are fathers. They are mothers. They are children. According to 2007 data, nearly 95% of people living with HIV live in the developing world. If we use the map to display such info, this is what it looked like in 2004. HIV AIDS disproportionately affects the poor, the oppressed, and the voiceless. 67% of all cases are concentrated in Sub-Saharan Africa. Since 2003 and 2002, programs like PEPFAR and the Global Fund have made treatment a reality for millions. But for every two people being put on treatment, five more are becoming infected. This is not a path that can be continued. If we looked at a map now, India, China, and Russia would all be increasing in size. And when we looked globally at who is getting infected, it is the producers, the laborers, the poor, and the future. Young people ages 15 to 24 in the height of their sexual activity account for nearly half of new infections worldwide. This is particularly dangerous given the low levels of reproductive education and knowledge of HIV transition methods. This can endanger generations and rob futures. Women account for nearly half of new infections worldwide. This DVD was created out of the stories of organizations and individuals. It's comprised mostly of my photos. I have spent the last year traveling, volunteering, and documenting successful or renowned HIV organizations around the world, including a rights-based and development approach in rural Rwanda, a grassroots 20-year initiative in San Francisco, the City of Leon's first ever HIV self-help group in Nicaragua, a corporate model in Northern India, and finally, a Buddhist AIDS temple in Thailand. The following chapters will highlight the work done in each location by each organization. What I have learned in my work is that there is hope, but at times it is underreported or underfunded. These are stories of hope.